Hey guys, what is up? Pat here with an all new video. Today we're gonna to be focusing a little bit more on the supplements that I'm taking. And I'm gonna again reference uh, two podcasts that I listened to this week that I thought was very interesting. Uh, all about health benefits and a couple of things that I wanna get into. Uh, the first one being is um, how to improve your sleep with Andrew Huberman. And the second one I'm going to get into is a sauna benefits deep dive with uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick. Uh, a lot of good information out there, a lot of amazing stuff. And uh, the benefits, honestly, re regarding saunas, health wise, cardiovascular wise, they're insane to overlook. I really recommend that everyone either get uh, into a gym that has a sauna or try to find a sauna near you. I highly recommend to do it. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the fr only two supplements that I really take are AG1 by Athletic Greens, which is a compound that basically will has all kinds of vitamins, minerals, adaptogens. It's really for all kinds of like better overall health uh, for like instead of taking like six, seven different vitamins, it's really a, like an all-in-one type of package. And adaptogens are there. Uh, they're, they basically, their job is to help your body uh, reduce and handle stress a lot better. To reduce cortisol levels and things like that um the other one that i take is gold standard optimum nutrition uh, iso protein uh really really high quality protein i've always stuck with it over the years honestly it's, it's been one of the better ones for me i've tried a couple of here and there but i always end up coming back and sticking with uh, the iso gold uh i highly recommend you check it out for me never really too sore the next day two scoops always after my workouts and it's great, honestly. So the first podcast that we're gonna go into is by Andrew Huberman. Uh, he's a neuroscientist at Stanford. He's, a, he's an amazing doctor. Uh, he is really, really into providing a lot of zero cost to consumer information, just so that we can all stay ahead and stay educated as best as we can. I really, really, really like that concept because basically anything you wanna kind of figure out, you can go check one of his podcasts and there you go all kinds of information at your disposal so in this one it's really all about like the do's and don'ts of how to get a better quality of sleep uh specifically the slow wave sleep so that's where your body's going to do a lot of the tissue repair and secreting growth hormone so you can try to get bigger uh, as best you can and be have the overall best results in related to fitness and stuff like that uh kind of like obviously the typical do's and don'ts is don't uh, ingest caffeine or alcohol or cannabis in the eight to 12 hours prior to sleep because that can affect the quality of your sleep and the transitioning into the different cycles of your sleep. Um, obviously we talk about too, trying to avoid eating at least two hours before you go to bed because that's gonna um, have an effect on not only the quality of your sleep cycles, but as well falling into sleep early and getting into that, that cycle early. That can have a little impact on that so you don't, you try to, Try to shy away from that, maybe like three hours, three and a half hours before bed. Uh, for bodybuilders and stuff like that, I know it's tough. It's it's insanely difficult because we like to eat every three hours. You don't really have to, but I try to like have a little snack before bed and try to gauge, okay, if I'm going to bed at 9.30 or 10, well, I'm not eating past like 6.30, 7 p.m. that I know that I can get to bed and actually get a good quality sleep. That being said, you obviously don't wanna to be too hungry as well, because that's another thing. If you're too hungry and you can't sleep, that can affect it also. Tough to gauge all those things, but it's all about trying to break down the science and getting to as close as you can to getting the better quality of sleep that you can every single night. So he also talks in this podcast about supplements that you can take to help you get into a better sleep schedule, quality of your sleep being increased, all kinds of like falling asleep easier. Uh, he actually doesn't like, he's not a huge fan of melatonin, which uh, obviously it's a huge common uh, supplement that everybody uses uh, because it has impacts on other systems and all kinds of stuff like that. And I found that really interesting and he names off a couple other supplements that actually really help him get to sleep. Uh, better quality overall, s switching of the cycles are easier and falling asleep and staying asleep is a lot easier as well. So I highly recommend you watch this podcast. Um, also too, he mentions that it's not really always just about looking, the, the first step is to look into supplements. There's a lot of behavioral things that you can do, like I named before, the 
no alcohol or stuff like that but prior to going to sleep it really ruins the cycle schedule um so i'm gonna put the description in the link below highly recommend you check it out it's maybe like half an hour uh and it's really interesting honestly the the kind of things that you can try to tweak to get a better quality of sleep overall i've obviously been introducing all kinds of these habits just to try to see okay well how can i get a little bit better sleep okay well i can not eat two three hours before i go to bed so that when i'm going to bed i'm falling to sleep a lot easier i am up very very early and i do exercise and i'm up and uh, basically active all day so that helps with the fact that when i'm ready to go to bed i'm i'm just passing out and i'm falling right into that cycle so check it out see what you think see if there's any things that you guys can implement to try to help out your schedule and we'll go to the next podcast all right guys so the second podcast that we're going to hit up tonight is going to be a sauna benefits deep dive with dr Rhonda patrick and she's having this conversation with uh, med cram i think it is uh they're going into all kinds of different benefits that sauna's gonna give you this one's about an hour and a half really really dense information but it's great so honestly i've been a big fan of saunas cold therapy stuff like that i haven't really looked into too much deeply of, of all this of the health effects yet but uh, a lot of them off the top that are really really great so it mimics basically aerobic exercise so basically if you're thinking 12 minutes in the sauna is like being on the treadmill at like a light jog pace or stuff like that uh, they did a, a, like a bunch of interesting studies and this is something that's really really interesting to me and it kind of hit home is that they they did a comparative between someone who uses the sauna one time comparative to someone who uses it between four and seven times uh, and the difference um, for the ones that do between four and seven are 63 percent less likely to suffer any kind of like cardiac arrest uh, strokes any kind of events like that huge huge number guys and that's just comparing four to seven time users weekly to one time so try to put into perspective the guy or girl who's not using the sauna and not really taking great care of themselves the risk is just all the higher and honestly in this case there's so many benefits that you can use just by sitting in a sauna it's like 190 degrees fahrenheit it's you it's anywhere from like five to 20 minutes there is a nice little average of 12 minutes. I like to use 12 minutes a day uh, and it's great o over everything. The other thing with that stat as well between one time users weekly and four to seven time users is that they have a 40% overall less mortality rate. So these numbers are like, they're huge numbers and it's just, we're talking about using a sauna. It's like easy, easy stuff. Uh, obviously it's, again, it's a mindset thing. It's about try to take better care of yourself, but all the information's there and there's all kinds of ways that you can use this to get motivated and get to the next level. Another interesting thing that I, that I like listened to into this podcast was that increasing your core temperature one to, by one to two degrees can actually give off the effect of an antidepressant for the user, which can last up to six weeks. And that's basically off one time use. So all these kinds of things, obviously, like I said, it's an hour and a half, this podcast. There's a, a lot of information in there. Uh, you guys can check it out for yourself. Same with this. I'm going to leave the description in the link below. Highly recommend these two for this week. Next week, we'll see what else we're going to get into. I have a couple of ideas of where I want to go. Uh, I'm going to start doing the footage soon for the gym. So super excited for that. I uh, just got a new phone. So, I mean, I hope the quality is better. And uh, all right, guys, I'll see you next week. And I'm super excited. I can't wait. Cheers. Be well.